My name's Perna, and I'm going to tell you about the worst bloody holiday ever. I was at the Royal Palms Resort on Benoit, working as a bodyguard for some asshole CEO. I figured once he left the island, I'd have a good week to relax on the beach, enjoy a Mai Tai or two. But no, that wasn't to be. As I woke up one morning to discover that the goddamn zombie apocalypse had arrived. A local lifeguard by the name of Cinnamon saved my life. And soon after that, I discovered I was immune to whatever this plague was. I met a few others who were immune, and somehow we were all elected to save everybody else. There was Sam B, a one-hit wonder hip-hop star from the States. Logan, an ex-football player and full-time douchebag who never missed a chance to hit on me. And Shin Mei, a sweet little hotel clerk who was as brutal with a blade as anyone I had ever seen. Together, we went to Norsby to try to gather more supplies. And from there, things really went to hell. The army tried to contain the infection, but they were bloody useless. Benoit itself was totally isolated. It was pretty clear we were on our own. At this point, we just wanted off that goddamn island. And that's what led us to that maximum security prison. You see, some dickhead colonel by the name of Ryder White lied to get us to track down what he thought was a cure for this zombie plague. Well, that cure ended up turning White into a giant bloody maniac. Luckily, we hooked up with a prisoner who flew us out of there on the colonel's helicopter. We were off that goddamn island at last. And everyone we tried to save back on Benoit? Well, they just didn't make it. Except for that little native girl, Nerima. We spotted that naval vessel just in time, as we were just about out of petrol. We couldn't believe how lucky we were to finally find a safe haven. Get your hands off me! What the hell? What is going on here? Uh, get off me! Uh, get it off me! Get it off! What's with the cuffs? Sorry, but I can't take any chances. My orders are to take you into custody and transport you to a secure quarantine area. And who the hell are you? Lieutenant Colonel Samuel Hardy. Don't resist and you'll be fine. We just need to be sure you don't pose Man, a threat. we no threat. The threat's on Benoit. You have any idea what's happening back there? We have an idea. We're hoping you can help us fill in the details. Especially her. You keep the hell away from her. Frank Serpo. I should have guessed. Are you the one in charge of this clusterfuck? Watch yourself with this guy. This freak would sell out his own mother. If he had one. Take the immune down to the lab. The two others will come with me. Lab? Uh, hey, do we look like goddamn guinea pigs I'm to you? I'm a citizen of the USA, man! I got motherfucking rights! Back off, Serpo, but just stay out of it. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Don't do that again. One less immune won't make any difference. Now take him to the lab. You may have command over Palanai, but on this ship, I'm in charge and I have my orders. Your orders are to follow my orders, Colonel. Would you like me to call your superiors? Somebody tell me what the fuck is going on here.
They have a very high tolerance, Mr. Serpo. I've already administered three doses. So how much longer? You said we'd have results by now. Sir, this is uncharted territory. We'll need another day at least. Just be careful. We don't want them dying on us. What about the native woman, Yerima? That's a more complicated case. She's being taken to another location. Don't worry. I'm keeping a close eye. Oh, God. Oh, my head. Oh, what the hell happened? The motherfuckers drugged us. Who are you? Hey, we're talking to you. I'm nobody, really. You've been bitten. How long has it been? Long enough. I guess it doesn't affect me. So you immune too? So it seems. What? They plant you here to spy on us. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's one beat to shit like this. It's all part of my cover. So they tested you too? Yeah. I'm guessing they're trying to figure out why we're all immune to this. How'd you get here? I was a soldier before the shit hit the fan. Part of a huge humanitarian search and rescue operation. And then that civilian arrived. So... Right. Suddenly, the military was no longer in charge, and the rescue operation was called off. So what are they up to? All I know is there's a naval blockade around the entire archipelago. No one's allowed in or out. Whatever the fuck is going on, there's nothing to do with humanitarian efforts. That's pretty clear. Christ, I'm still woozy from these bloody drugs. Oh, God, my head. Hey, where are the others? Well, they must have taken them when I was out. Them. They're your problem now! You can't just leave them here, they're civilians! If I were you, I'd worry about your own survival, Colonel! Serve ho! You! Get up here! Captain! Come here! Your captain's dead, soldier! Bloody hell, it's a rock! Yeah! Oh. Collision course, we have to get to the bridge! Yeah, there's not another problem! We've got company! Shoot that bloody thing! We need to release the anchor! Look! Oh, Jesus! Hold on! Wake up. You all right? Oh. What happened? The ship must have capsized. Get out. The ship's dead in the water. Can you walk? Only one way to find out. Where am I? Pal and I. But it's really not safe here on the beach. There's an infection. Some sort of plague. It's spread here as well? Jesus. The whole island's gone to hell. Jesus Christ. We'll talk later. Right now you need to move. Head for the Paradise Survival Camp. Look for the big treehouse. You'll find other survivors there. Take this. In the meantime, I'll see if anyone else washed up on the beach. I heard the explosion. You blew the damn bridge? Was that really necessary? Well, thank God you survived. Yeah! Now I owe you something, motherfucker. Get up, you son of a bitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I owe whoa. you something, too. Apparently, you've all met. I know what it looks like, but I swear to God, I meant you no harm. That operation was out of my hands. It was Serpo. So who was he? He works for a private concern. His superiors own my superiors, and they're the ones calling the shots. I'm sorry for what they did to you, but there's no way that he... What exactly are they doing here, Colonel? 
The rumour is they're trying to weaponise this plague for use as a bioweapon. Being immune, my guess is your blood is essential for their research. You knew this, yet you did nothing to stop them. I'm a soldier. I follow orders. Well, soldier, here's an order for you. Go fuck yourself. Just listen to me. I can help you. There's a military outpost in Henderson, and I know the commanding officer. They have food, water, weapons, and a way off this bloody island. Last time we trusted the army, they threw us in a cage. Look, I understand how you feel, but we don't have much time here. This island... It's about to be nuked. Nuked? Yeah, we heard that same story on the north. Ain't no bombs fell there. Are you sure about that? This would explain all the air traffic recently. Choppers flying out with equipment crates. That's right. They have to cover up what they've done here. And once they're through evacuating the they're island... They're dropping a bomb? Listen, I trust this asshole about as far as I can throw him. But if what he's saying is true... We, we need to get out. off this goddamn island. Fuck me, man. So, Henderson it is then. If that's the case, then we're all coming with you. All right then. Let's move. Only five of us are immune, so some of us should stay and defend the camp while the rest scout for a way out of here. Good. Let's get to it. All right, Colonel. But if you're lying to us, God help you, because we sure won't. I know there are immune among you. Step forward and honor the goats. With your help, we will conquer the evil that has infected Palanai. You are the key that can save humanity. You're out of your mind, mate. Get a grip. Don't you see? You immune are the cure for this pestilence. And if you will not step forward and sacrifice yourself for the good of all, then you shall suffer a trial by fire. We must feast on your flesh to ensure the future of the human race. Quick, get outside! So what do we do now? We continue with the plan, of course. Show me the map. Christ, is this it? What a mess. Apparently these are the entrances. Even so, they're both in the flooded area. Right? Yes. These entrances are inaccessible. I wouldn't necessarily rule them out. They might still be useful. Here's Kessler's place. He might know something about the tunnels. I mean, he did work with Villa, right? What if he's just as crazy? Kessler's not Villa. He's a real scientist. And if he's still alive, I'm sure he'll help us. I was originally sent here to consult with him. He's been studying the disease for years. He published a paper on it. And if anyone here knows about the tunnels, it's Kessler. And why exactly didn't you tell us all that before? Because Villa said he had a map, and I wasn't even sure Kessler was still alive. Look, if you're all too afraid to go, I'll go on my own. Listen. If Harlow say he cool, then I say we check him out. I mean, what other choice do we got? Well, we could stay here and party and enjoy the last little bit of life we got left. Yeah, you do that, Wayne. Me? I'm going with. All right, then. Kessler it is. Fine. I guess I'll just have to bring the party with. Jesus, that was close. You good? Okay, Trevor, get us out of here. God oh, rule. I didn't think I'd ever see daylight again. Mate, are you okay? Shit. What happened to you? Some... Somebody pushed... me. Hey, man, what happened? Who pushed you? Stay away! What the hell is that? That fucking... 
all of us in danger. What? What is it? Oh, shit. What? He's going to turn. Maybe we can restrain him. Oh, God. No. There's nothing to be done. I knew he was bitten, so I pushed him. You what? What the hell were you thinking? He was already lost. You would have left him behind. But I had to know what that mutagen would do to someone who was infected. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Jesus. Look at him. Thanks again for rescuing me. I thought for sure I wouldn't survive. It looks like you could all use a place to heal and rest up. This is hopeless. Where will we go? They're already there. Well, at least we have a roof over our heads here. When the plague first hit, everyone left. I thought the authorities would eventually come, so I stayed behind. I was worried about looters. Little did I know that would be the least of my worries. Everything I own is in this theater. I couldn't bear to leave it behind. But now, after all that's happened, I'd like to go with you. You're welcome to come, but no promises. We're all in the same boat here, and as far as I can tell, this son of a bitch is sinking. Any luck contacting the base? No. Maybe their radio's down. What the hell happened here? The disease spread so quickly, the army created a quarantine zone. They said they had it under control. But they did. From the outside, the base looks intact. As I said, Commander Briggs is a friend of mine. This base is our only chance for rescue. We must get in there. I wouldn't. The military abandoned this town and everyone in it. They locked themselves in that base. Anyone who approached, anyone seeking shelter, was shot. After a while, people stopped trying. Bloody heroes, eh? Jesus. Look, they must have thought those citizens were infected. Otherwise, they would never have done something like that. Sure they would. Just like they did in Benoit. Just like Norlands. Man, that's just how it works. Is Harlow here? I thought she was with you. Who saw her last? I... I thought... We ran like crazy. I thought she was with us. Fuck! You left her behind, just like you'd leave us all. Jesus Christ, woman. Get a grip. Or oh, what? You gonna hit her? Chima is right. All you immunes are getting a little crazy. crazy. How? What the hell are you saying? You don't trust us now? Well, maybe we don't fucking trust you. Everybody, just calm down. It's the chemicals, the mutagens. Look at them. They can barely control themselves. Come on, people. We've gone too far to give up now. Stay here while you check the base. If the guards make trouble, I'll talk to them on the radio. It's the only way we're getting out of this alive. Do your job. We're leaving no one behind. Briggs? Is this Colonel Briggs? Briggs is dead. Who's this? Lieutenant Colonel Sam Hardy sent me. I'm in Henderson with a handful of survivors and we're trying to get the hell off this island. Look, I'd like to help you, but I can't. Sorry. You'll have to hang tight. What the hell is wrong with you people? First you abandoned Benoy, now Pal and I! Benoy? How do you know about Benoy? You say Hardy sent you? Wait a second. You're one of the immune. I met you on the ship. Remember me, Serpo? Serpo? You're the fuckwit who left us on the ship! Look, 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 I'm sorry about that. We're trying to help people here. We're working on a vaccine. Right. And as soon as you find it, you're gonna nuke the bloody island. <laughs> oh, mate, you must think I'm thick as a... Where the hell did you hear that? Nuke the island? Did Hardy tell you that? Because if he did, that's bullshit. So everyone's lying? Is that right? I'm, uh... Hold on a second. What? Harlow? Are you positive? Okay, get her. Do it. Just don't let her get away. Sorry about that. Time's running short. I'm sending you a chopper. What's your location? Old Town Cinema. Watch yourself with Hardy. The man cannot be trusted. That chopper is on its way. Hey, 
you. Cut the crap. You take these people right now or you get none of us. I told you this would happen. I'm getting on. Sir, take one more step and I have no choice but to open fire. Why are you doing this? Drop your weapon. Lower your weapon. Now. Get off the ladder, sir. Don't you threaten us. You will answer for your actions, soldier. Land. Now. Or we shoot you down. Put it down or you die. This is my last warning, sir. I have my orders. Just wait, you don't have to do this! I have to! It's gone too far now! Try to control it, I know you can do it! I am trying! But all this never should have happened! Help me destroy it! Bury it! All of it! We can't let them use it anymore! We can't let them do what they did to Palinai! Not again! What are you saying? They did this! The outbreak on Palinai, it was them, to test their bioweapons. And the mutagen, it will destroy us all! You won't be able to control it. It will control you! But we can use the antidote. Don't you understand? There is no antidote! They caught me when I tried to sneak in here. They tested the mutagen on me, not knowing what it would do. They didn't know I was immune like you. Look what it turned me into! I killed them all! We won't be able to stop it! That's why we have to destroy it, before it destroys everything! Halo, we can control it. We can escape off this bloody island and get help! There is no help! We can't escape! None of us can! We're too dangerous! We can never leave this island. Ever! Harlow, don't! What have you done to me? Look around you. Don't you see? You leave this island and the whole world will look like this. You are the angel of death. Thank you for coming back for us. I am so very sorry. I lost faith in you. How are you feeling? A-OK, -okay, Doc. <laughs> Never better. I have a little headache, but otherwise I'm perfectly fine. <sighs> the Serpa. Yeah. He won't be bothering us anymore. What about Harlow? We... We couldn't help her. Yeah, she decided to stay. Authorities in Banoi and Palanai report that the crisis is over. Life is slowly returning to normal as rescue crews clean up the aftermath of the monsoon that swept through the archipelago. All travel to and from the region is still prohibited as the rescue operation continues. Rumours of a possible plague outbreak have been discredited as international relief organisations continue to assess the situation. Yeah. 
brain won't get in brain. Conduct the wrong, my zombie train. All aboard, kill abroad, leave a bloody, so sustained, won't play games.